ready to play? I didn't come to play. I came to win. Now let's play. It's taken a few minutes to gather all the ingredients, but I think we are ready. Um, Serana, let's see what we can do. Well? Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Um... I guess I'm ready. Okay, here goes. go. Uh, is it supposed to burn like this? What's happening? Why is anything happening? Are you alright? That looked painful. Uh, it was. What happened? Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The soul cairn is, well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. So there's no way in, then? There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. So you're saying I need to become a vampire? Not your first choice, I'd guess. Isn't there another way? Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. Um... Wouldn't that kill me? My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Maybe. So that's my only option? I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Okay. I think I know what I want to do. Have you made up your mind? Soul trap me. I... I'm not ready to become a vampire. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. I'm ready. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. I... Thank you. Don't worry about it. Oh. Good. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Well, let's see what happens. Let's just jump right in. What kind of place is this? I... We are not in Tamriel anymore. And what is this thing? It's... I've never seen something like this before. Let's try to handle this quickly. Um, hello? Is there no end to this nightmare? I feel terrible for the dead who end up here for eternity. It seems awful, like they're still suffering.
There's something here. Mother? Mother! Nika, it can't be. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? No, you don't... You. Come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my daughter? It pains me to think you'd travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. This is no ruse. But I'm here for the Elder Scroll. Glorious. Serana claims you're her guardian, yet your first instinct appears to be greed. I see that my daughter is still as naive as ever. Serana has sacrificed everything to prevent Harkon from completing the prophecy. I would have expected her to explain that to you. And that is why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. You think I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone? The scrolls are merely a means to an end. The key to the tyranny of the sun is Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volcahar, I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. The second scroll declares that the blood of Cold Harbor's daughter will blind the eye of the dragon. So how does Serana fit into this? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers of Lord Molig Ball. Tradition dictates the females be offered to Molig Ball on his summoning day. Few survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. We call such confluences the Daughters of Cold Harbor. So... Serana underwent this ritual willingly? It was expected of her. Just as it was expected of me. Being selected as an offering to Molik Ball is an honor. She wouldn't have dared turn her back on that. And what's Cold Harbor? Wait, isn't that... It's what some call the domain of Molik Ball. His place in oblivion. I see. So this tyranny of the sun... It's like the ritual to get here. It requires her blood? Now you're beginning to see why I wanted to protect Serana, and why I've kept the other Elder Scroll as far from her as possible. So Harkon intends to kill her. If Harkon obtained Ariel's bow, and Serana's blood was used to taint the weapon, the tyranny of the sun would be complete. In his eyes, she'd be dying for the good of all vampires. Well, I don't intend to let that to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? I'll kill him. If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Don't you think I weighed that option before I enacted my plans? And what's Serana's opinion of this? You care nothing for Serana, or our plight. Whether or not you've become one of us in order to survive the Soul Cairn, you're still a vampire hunter at heart. You're here because we're abominations in your mind. Evil creatures that need to be destroyed. Serana believes in me, so why don't you? Serana? This stranger aligns himself with those that would hunt you down and slay you like an animal. Yet I should entrust you to him. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. How dare you! I gave up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father! 
Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Why can't you understand how that makes me feel? If you'd only open your eyes. The moment your father discovers your role in the prophecy, that he needs your blood, you'll be in terrible danger. So to protect me, you decided to shut me away from everything I cared about. You never asked me if hiding me in that tomb was the best course of action. You just expected me to follow you blindly. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different, but in the end, you're still just a pawn to you too. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us. But we have to stop him. Before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. I've allowed my hatred of your father to estrange us for too long. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear to me. But for Serana's sake, I'll assist you in any way that I can. Alright. Uh, do you have this Elder Scroll uh, with you? Yes. I've kept it safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Alright. What do we need to do? You need to locate the tallest of the rocky spires that surround these ruins. At their bases, the barrier's energy is being drawn from unfortunate souls that have been exiled here. Destroy the keepers that are tending them, and it should bring the barrier down. Alright, we'll return soon. One more word of warning. There's a dragon that calls itself Durnevir roaming the cairn. Be wary of him. The Ideal Masters have charged him with overseeing the Keepers, and will undoubtedly intervene if you're perceived as a threat. A dragon. Lovely. Alright. That's, uh... And keep my daughter safe. Let's go, Serana. Keeper things and get back to the prison. What is th that? Is one big skeleton? Serana, this is no time for jokes. And that weakness. I can definitely feel that weakness here. Another of those Reapers destroyed. One more, I think. There's something odd about this last... Wait. I did not even see that floating island. Is this?
Hold on, I want to check something out. I think... Oh, I guess not. Alright, let's head back then. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. I am impressive. Now, are you able to get us the uh, Elder Scroll? Yes. Please follow me. Keep watch for Dernavir. With the prison's barrier down, he's almost certain to investigate. I don't think I could be doing this alone. Is fast. Ugh. Serana, good job. I never thought in my entire existence I would fight a dragon. Astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. 
And what makes you say that? Volumes written on Dernavir allege that he can't be slain by normal means. It appears that he's mistaken. Unless... Go on. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. It's possible that your killing blow has merely displaced Dernavir's physical form while he reconstitutes himself. And how long will that take? Minutes? Hours? Years? I can't even begin to guess. I suggest we don't wait around to find out. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and you can be on it. I can't believe we found my mother alive. I can't believe now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on your way. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. Would you be able to get my soul back? So my daughter applied some of the lessons I taught her about necromancy, did she? Don't worry. I think I can help you. <laughs> I could use all the help I can get. Your soul essence was trapped inside a gem. When you and Serana entered the soul cairn, it was given to the ideal masters as payment. You simply need to retrieve the gem. The moment you touch it, your soul essence will be restored. Any idea where I would find this gem? There's an offering altar not terribly far from here. I'm willing to bet that the gem you're looking for is there. Is there anything else? Could be your last chance. You're staying here? I have no choice. As I told you before, I'm a daughter of Cold Harbor. If I return to Tamriel, that increases Harkon's likelihood of bringing the tyranny of the sun to fruition. I see. We may never return. After what I put Serana through, I would understand that she never wished to see me again. I leave that decision in your hands. Remember that Harkon is not to be trusted. No matter what he promises, he'll deceive you in order to get what he wants. And promise me you'll keep my daughter safe. She's the only thing of value I have left. The sooner we get the scroll home, the sooner we deal with my father. Yes, well... Let me get... <coughs> uh, stupid... Soul or... Something... Let's get my soul back. And then we can go. Well, that was quick. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanari. I thought you were dead. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between Laas and Enoch. Between life and death. All right, why are we speaking? I believe in civility among seasoned warriors, and I find your ear worthy of my words. My claws have rendered the flesh of innumerable foes, but I have never once been felled on the field of battle. I therefore honor name you Quanarin, or Vanquisher in your tongue. You were quite a match. Your words do me great honor. My desire to speak with you was born from the result of our battle, Quanarin. I merely wish to respectfully ask a favor of you. What kind of favor? For countless years I've roamed the Soul Cairn in unintended service to the Ideal Masters. Before this, 
I roamed the skies above Tamrio. I desire to return there. And what is stopping you? I fear that my time here has taken its toll upon me. I share a bond with this dreaded place. If I ventured far from the Soul Cairn, my strength would begin to wane until I was no more. I see. Would I be able to help you in this endeavor? I will place my name with you, and grant you the right to call my name from Tamriel. Do me this simple honor, and I will fight at your side as your Graze Mazen, your ally, and teach you my Thun. Just call your name in Tamriel, that's it? Trivial in your mind, perhaps, for me. It would mean a great deal. I don't require an answer, Quinarin. Simply speak my name to the heavens when you feel the time is right. I see. And how did you end up here in the Soul Cairn? There was a time when I called Tamriel my home. But those days have long since passed. The Dova roamed the skies, vying for their small slices of territory that resulted in immense and ultimately fatal battles. Were you a part of all of that? I was. But unlike some of my brethren, I sought solutions outside the norm in order to maintain my superiority. I began to explore what the Dova call Elok Dilan, the ancient forbidden art that you call necromancy. So you sought the Soul Cairn for answers? The ideal masters assured me that my powers would be unmatched, that I could raise legions of the undead. In return, I was to serve them as a keeper until the death of the one who calls herself Valerica. I take it they didn't tell you she was immortal. I discovered too late that the Ideal Masters favored deception over honor and had no intention of releasing me from my binding. They had control of my mind. But fortunately, they couldn't possess my soul. Is that why you're free now? Free? No. I have been here too long, Quanarin. The Soul Cairn has become a part of what I am. I can never fully call Tamriel my home again, or I would surely perish. I only hope that you will allow me the precious moments of time there, through your call. I will keep your... mention, your offer, in mind. I'm glad we found the scroll, Lord. I wish you could come with us. I understand, Serana, but... We have to do what we have to do, and she has to do what she has to do. It's too dangerous. If Harkin were to gain hold of her, it could destroy all of Tamriel as we know it. <laughs> 